Sayonara, released in 1957, remains a poignant portrayal of love, cultural barriers, and societal prejudices. Directed by Joshua Logan, the film navigates the complexities of interracial relationships against the backdrop of post-war Japan. Its enduring qualities lie in its bold exploration of themes still resonant today, the defiance of societal norms, the cost of love amidst societal expectations, and the human struggle against prejudice. The movie's ability to provoke introspection on these timeless issues solidifies its place as an everlasting symbol of the film industry's capacity for cultural reflection and storytelling. Have you ever had a cherished memory associated with this movie? Whether it's a profound connection to the characters, a moment of personal reflection, or a unique experience tied to its viewing, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts on what makes this film memorable for you. The Matsubayashi Girls Review stage shows in the movie were performed by the Shachiku Keijkaden Girls Review. These performances were integral to the film's portrayal of Japanese culture and provided a vibrant backdrop to the storyline. The review showcased traditional Japanese dance, music, and theater, adding authenticity and depth to the narrative. Its inclusion highlighted the cultural exchange between the American characters and the Japanese society they encountered, serving as a pivotal element in conveying the themes of love, prejudice, and societal norms depicted in the movie. The performances by the Shachiku Keijkaden Girls Review were a significant aspect of the film's visual and cultural richness, contributing to the overall impact and authenticity of Sayonara. Their involvement helped to capture the essence of Japanese entertainment and cultural traditions during that era, fostering a deeper understanding of the story's context and characters. In the subsequent year, Patricia Owens delivered an iconic performance in the science fiction classic The Fly, further showcasing her versatility as an actress beyond her role in Sayonara. Miyoshi Yumiki's win as Best Supporting Actress for her role in the 1957 movie Sayonara marked a significant milestone in Oscar history. She became the first Asian actor to achieve this recognition, a groundbreaking moment that highlighted the evolving inclusivity in the film industry. This win not only honored Yumiki's talent but also served as a testament to the film's portrayal of cultural dynamics, shedding light on the nuanced performances and the movie's narrative depth. The film's storyline, touching upon themes of love, prejudice, and societal norms, resonated powerfully with audiences, bolstered by Yumiki's remarkable debut performance. Her achievement stands as a beacon of representation and excellence in an era where diversity in Hollywood was notably limited. Italian Censorship Visa 26145 was issued on February 13, 1958, for the movie Sayonara. This certification allowed the film to be screened in Italy, marking its official approval by the Italian authorities for public exhibition. The process of securing such a visa involved meeting specific criteria set by the Italian censors to ensure the content adhered to their guidelines and standards for public viewing. This endorsement underscored the film's compliance with the regulatory requirements prevalent in Italy at that time, enabling its distribution and presentation to Italian audiences. Dennis Hopper's involvement in the 1957 movie Sayonara went beyond acting. While he played a role in the film, he also contributed by lending his voice to several minor characters. This lesser-known fact sheds light on the multifaceted contributions of individuals in the movie industry beyond their visible roles on screen. Hopper's versatile engagement added depth to the movie's characters, reflecting the collaborative nature of filmmaking during that era. The inclusion of his voice work showcases the meticulous attention to detail in crafting the movie's narrative, contributing to its overall presentation and authenticity. Sayonara holds a place in cinematic history, being among the list of 400 movies nominated by the American Film Institute for the Top 100 America's Greatest Love Stories. This recognition underscores the film's enduring impact on audiences and its portrayal of a compelling love story set against a backdrop of cultural dynamics. Its inclusion among these esteemed nominations highlights the movie's resonance in capturing the essence of enduring romance within the complexities of societal norms and cross-cultural relationships. This lesser-known detail about Dennis Hopper's involvement 
and the film's recognition by the American Film Institute adds layers to the narrative of Sayonara, showcasing both the collaborative efforts behind the scenes and the lasting impact of its storytelling on audiences worldwide. The film debut of James Stacy in the 1957 movie Sayonara marked a significant moment in cinema history. Stacy's portrayal added a fresh dynamic to the film, bringing a new face and talent into the spotlight. His introduction into the movie industry through this iconic film paved the way for his future roles and contributions to cinema. Despite his newcomer status, Stacy's performance resonated with audiences, setting the stage for his career trajectory. His presence in Sayonara contributed to the ensemble cast's depth and showcased emerging talent within the film. The debut of James Stacy in this classic movie stands as a testament to the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood and its continual embrace of new actors, shaping the industry's future. Marlon Brando wasn't the original choice for the lead role in the 1957 movie Sayonara. Rock Hudson was initially offered the part but went for a farewell to arms instead. Despite this casting switch, Sayonara gained acclaim, boasting a perfect 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on 12 critic reviews. It further earned a spot among the American Film Institute's list of 250 movies nominated for FI's 100 Years of Film Scores in 2005. This film's success and critical acclaim showcase its enduring impact and recognition within the cinematic landscape. In 1956, over 10,000 American servicemen defied regulations by marrying Japanese women, a reality mirrored by James Michener, the author of Sayonara. The film, released in 1957, delves into the complexities of cross-cultural relationships, reflecting the societal norms and challenges faced by individuals in such unions. Notably, it clinched Best Supporting Actor and Actress Oscars for Red Buttons and Miyoshi Yumiki, a feat achieved by only two other films prior. This recognition underscored the exceptional performances within the movie, cementing its impact on the cinematic landscape. The narrative explores the intricacies of love, societal prejudices, and cultural dynamics against the backdrop of post-war Japan, providing a poignant portrayal of human connections transcending boundaries. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey of Sayonara, I invite you to traverse the depths of your own connection with this timeless 1957 masterpiece. Reflect upon the intricate dance of love and societal boundaries portrayed amidst the backdrop of Japan, resonating across generations. Did it evoke a poignant memory, stir a dormant emotion, or ignite a newfound appreciation for cultural complexities? Your thoughts, cherished recollections, or fresh interpretations breathe life into the enduring legacy of this film. Feel free to share your cherished memories, insightful interpretations, or heartfelt musings about Sayonara. Your unique perspective adds vibrant hues to the collective canvas of admiration for this cinematic gem. Thank you for allowing Sayonara to dance through your thoughts and memories. Your engagement infuses the essence of this classic with renewed vitality. Until we meet again to explore the depths of cinematic wonder, I bid you a fond farewell. Warm regards.